it's hard cleaned and ready for the bailer again. Um, so I I took the rake off this because rake we had the other day. I took the blue power off the bailer. Blue power's all just parked over there out the way. That's blue power got service the other day. Sixty seventy got service the other day and a new exhaust. Um, and a new bottom section to the exhaust, but still hasn't got rid of the noise and I can't figure out why there's that kind of rattle coming out of the exhaust or like, it's like a tickle. Um, I was buying a new clamp for where it goes onto the turbo and see if that might solve it. If it don't, I really don't know where the problem is. Um, it's just getting washed, ready for the bailer again. Because there was good growth there now last week and the weather is meant to be picking up, so... Hopefully she'll be busy again. Um, we also fixed, well, I didn't fix it, um, but the roof is now back together because this roof got blown down there during the springtime in the storm. And we have a new set of bars put in there to try and put in so we can put younger cattle in there because they are like, they're fine here. We could always put them in this shed, but these always come out there. So now we have two more pins up there. It's just another option that we could put in younger stock and all. Um, so I'm actually going to leave it at that now for today. I, um, yeah, I must grease her. I must grease everything really now. They're all kind of, what should we say, off of a machine. So I can go, I'm going to grease all the tractors. That baler is ready to go, but I just need to pull apart the PTO shaft and just fill that with grease again. It's probably fine, but I'll just do it anyway because no harm keep on top of it. But at least that's this tractor all scrubbed up again. Ratchet or some job. Oh, Jesus, they're still not out. My shoulder's fit to fall off me. Ah, oh, both of them. Nice one. Sorry, I forgot the ratchet I was saying. There we go, now we're off. Right, I think this, there is a bolt on the other side. Of one. So let's turn them over now and take off this. Two more underneath. I'll take off the way it settles because they're the way to be fixed. I have a different job on head now. I'm going washing this tractor for a minute. He um he had an oil hose burst the other day and it went up on top of the roof and it's all coming down along the glass now and everything. So I'm going to give it a good old scrubbing there now, especially the roof and the cab where the oil is and just the back end as well as rotten. So I'll um I'll give all that a, a fairly good clean there now back wind as well as all smudged and smeared so yeah hopefully no one thing too long. I'm not going to give him the Hinton spectacular no just to kind of a quick wash really being totally honest
snow. It's looking a whole lot better to me anyway. Uh, it is. Happy days. It is now quarter past nine at night or quarter past eight. Um and I have a lot of silage on now the weekend and into Monday. Um so that bad boy has to go back on. I have to go tanking in the morning, then mowing, breaking all day Sunday and bailing and drawing all day Monday. So three tractors now be back in action, thank God. So uh, yesterday my phone actually died when I was here but I got the mower on this tractor and I got the tank on the 670 but we're actually getting a lot of rain last night so I'm not actually too sure if I'm going to be mowing but I was I was meant to be going mowing but we'll see how the day pulls up but I feel like tanking in it at first for the first fucking half the day so we'll go at that now and see how it goes. The, what am I doing? I have the tank off. I have this tractor on the bailer. PTO is greased and the inside thing good. And I have a new roller net up for the next few days. Calls um, probably choose they you know before I'm bailing because we got kinda of pushed out a day after the rain. But I um I was just sizing up there a minute ago and I can't record it because I had only two hands and I'm trying to hold I have a, an applicator for the bailer. For the additive, and I'm gonna put it here in the kind of this corner. It's going to sit in here on top of this, and kind of in that little square there, and to be hanging down here. And I put the pipe in, um, and it, what I the reason I'm putting it here, because I, I was kind of holding it up the center, and I said I don't really like it. It's kind of blocking my view, but over here, what it means is I can look out the window, and that's still all clear back along. Just because I was going to put it here, maybe even up higher, you know, like I said, the bottom and in the top of it up there. But I found it when I was looking back in the tractor, like you, you were blocking the view just at the net and stuff when you're feeding in and things. Not that you need to be looking back the whole time around to like you know, the net normally goes fairly smooth, but I just still wanted the view of it just I'm so used to be able to see back. So I'll um, hopefully get that on tomorrow because I have to make a few bells with it with the additive. Ooh, probably Wednesday, I think, maybe Thursday, not too sure. Um, so yeah, put away everything here and I must put the spikes on the tractor in order because we're going to spread a bit of fertilizer there now soon so and then i'm going to eat something because i'm starved so i'm actually on the way back to the yard i um i was mowing there this morning i completely forgot to take a video of it um as i was kind of just trying to stay going i have a christening to go out to there soon for my cousin so i am um, I kind of just completely forgot to take a video really, I just had my head my head just in the mood for get it done now and get back and go home and get changed and thankfully today is a nice day, there's good growth there, there's good drying but um, with the rain we got yesterday everything's kind of put off until tomorrow which is after working in perfectly to my plan so I have a bit of mowing done there now and I have two other farmers mowing today and I'll be kind of raking everything tomorrow and bailing everything Tuesday um, I have to go raking for the harvester again when the days do not win yet, probably a Tuesday or Wednesday, I'd be thinking. Um, and I have bales to draw as well. So, just busy now again for the start of the week. Um, I'm fairly short sure into the week, we'll also get busy, but I won't know that until the farmers ring me. So, yeah, we just get back to the yard now and uh, I'll strike on and enjoy the rest of my Sunday, thankfully.